I see my name in shiny lights, yeah. A different city every night. Oh, I, I swear the world better prepare for when I'm a billionaire. It's time to get down to business on the weekend's number one business program. Known as the king of networking, your host, Shalom Klein, has worked with thousands of entrepreneurs and created countless jobs. So, to success, let's get down to business. And in and indeed, we are all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship and business. We talk a lot about business here. You're on with Get Down to Business, and I'm your host, Shalom Klein. Remember, you can always download podcasts from Get Down to Business on my website at shalomkline.com. And while you are there, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Shalom Klein. It's going to be a jam-packed week of content and information you will not want to miss. It is a live show. You can call into the beautiful studio here in Elk Grove Village at 312-642-5600. And we've got a jam-packed lineup indeed. You can always go to my website, shalomkline.com, to download the podcast from the past six-plus years of shows. And speaking of shows, my very first guest on the program Rena Friedman Watts is the host of the Better Call Daddy podcast and uh, also a media marketing specialist with a resume so impressive it will blow you away. So let's get started. Let's get into it. Rena Friedman Watts, welcome to Get Down to Business. Hey, Shalom. I'm so excited to be here. Oh, it's so exciting to have you. Rena. you have worked with uh, some pretty impressive uh, individuals. You've uh, been involved in uh, producing uh, shows like Jerry Springer. And I mean, the list goes on and on. I just dropped, I just name dropped one. But Rena, I love to get to know the person behind the microphone. Can you tell our listeners very briefly a little bit about your background? Well, it's been rumored that there's six degrees of separation between Kevin Bacon and anyone else in Hollywood, but I feel like today that is just shrinking to like two degrees with my, you know, varied network of influencers and people that I'm connected to on LinkedIn. I can help take your business to the next level. A hundred percent. And you are a LinkedIn aholic. That is for sure. You are connected with so many people. And actually just this morning, I spoke to somebody that you put me in touch with. So thank you for that. And Rena, you are, um, as mentioned, uh, super connected in the world of uh, of Hollywood, but really you have brought some of that expertise into the business world. And we're going to talk all about uh, the work that you do with companies. But I want to get started actually in talking about your podcast, the Better Call Daddy uh, show you. I believe I spoke to you, I think a couple of days before you actually sort of went live with it. And uh, it's been quite a ride. So give us the premise. What is the gist of Better Call Daddy? It's such a fun sounding name, but what does it actually mean? So I have been fascinated by people for as long as I can remember. I love hearing a story. I'm generally interested in who people are, what they do, why they do it. And then we become friends. And over the years, I have collected a very diverse group of friends. And so my dad has been begging me to make a show of my own for years. And I was like, all right, you know what? I'm going to make a show. I'm roping you in. I'm going to interview people, share the stories with my dad and get my dad's perspective. It, it's it's such an awesome uh, format. And I, I strongly recommend all of our listeners to uh, to uh, take a listen. And we'll make sure that our folks uh, can uh, find the podcast, which really is everywhere where podcasts are available. Um, and it's uh, you said a word that I love to use myself all the time, which is telling a story. So Rena, you have uh, been helping others tell their stories through your program, including many people in business. Uh, So tell us, as you've been podcasting, what are some of the most exciting moments and some of the most exciting conversations for you? Oh my gosh, this past week, I got to interview James Altucher, who I just admire and I've been a big fan fan of for a very long time. I watched his IG lives all summer and my husband won a Twitter contest of Brian Keating's and then Brian Keating introduced me personally to James Altucher. And now this coming week, I am interviewing his wife and she has never been on a podcast. So that is a high. That is certainly very, very, very cool. So you tell stories um, through your podcast, but you also help business owners 
tell their stories as well. And you have uh, your own uh, marketing uh, consulting practice. So let's talk about storytelling for the entrepreneurs that are tuning in to get down to business. Everybody's looking to improve themselves, improve their businesses in general, but certainly in this era of COVID where we are socially distant, what are some of the tips that you help some of your clients with? Well, some of my clients have already built communities. It's just, they need like an up level. And I just believe that people are people. They're fascinating, but they're still people. And I'm not afraid to knock on doors. And is it and, that that yeah. lack of, uh, of, of I call it trepidation, that, that I, I know you have this fearless instinct when you're having conversations on the podcast, but is it that skill that has helped you grow your own business and that you teach to other business owners? Yes, that's definitely part of my moxie. That's so much fun. That's so awesome. So in terms of businesses, uh, we just talked about some examples on the podcast. Can you tell us examples? You don't need to use names, um, but of businesses that you, that you have worked with um, during your extensive career uh, that you have helped grow. I've worked with best-selling authors. I've worked with top podcasters. I've worked with influencers. I've worked on events, helping them get sponsorships. I've even helped people get back into the dating world and navigate creating a profile and how to weed out men. <laughs> That's wild. That's totally wild. I'm chatting <laughs> with Rena Friedman Watts, um, who is the host of the Better Call Daddy podcast. Uh, you can find it really wherever podcasts are available. Uh, and uh, shout out, I was uh, I was privileged to be uh, to to join Rena as a guest on the show. Uh, actually we recorded a little while ago, but it just, uh, promoted, I think it was last week or so. Um, but Rena, one of the things that you asked me on the podcast, uh, in that very relaxed recording session, which was very much a conversation. And I know that that is the art of storytelling is you asked me about some of the people that are sort of on my wish list. And one of the things that you say on your LinkedIn profile, which I found fascinating is you connect people with change makers, something that requires breaking down doors. So give us an example, Rena, how have you done that yourself? Who has been on your wish list and how have you gotten through to them? Yeah. So that James Altucher, was an example of somebody who was definitely on my wish list. And I had, you know, gotten his attention by sharing things about him in my story and on Instagram. And I saw that he had checked that out. I had tried to email him before and was unsuccessful that way. Like he had responded to my emails. So he kind of already knew who I was. I was establishing that relationship, but it wasn't until I was then connected with someone who had met him in person and who he had had on his show. So it took like three reach outs before our relationship was established enough where he was like, okay, let me give this chick the time of the day. <laughs> and that has happened with other influencers as well, where I might, you know, engage with them on Instagram, check them out on Twitter, see what they're doing on Facebook, start a conversation with them. And then, you know, there might be somebody who's just starting their podcast or somebody who has a following but doesn't have a connection to that person. And I can bridge that gap. I love it. I love it. And really, that's a lesson that everybody uh, tuning in to get down to business, whether you're looking for a job or you're, you're trying to grow your business, that's something that persistence and that uh, I love what you said also about the research that you do. I called you a LinkedIn-aholic earlier, and I mean it. Um, LinkedIn is such a great tool uh, to help you with research, and I know you go through that process with all of your guests and all of the business owners that you interact with and really anybody that you interact with. So I've been chatting with Rena Friedman Watts. Um, Rena, I am just about out of time, but I want to make sure our listeners know where they can find you. Um, what is the best way for uh, folks to get in touch with you? LinkedIn is probably the best way to get in touch with me. I am Rena Friedman Watts on there. I'm Rena Friedman Watts on Instagram, bettercalldaddy.com. Bettercalldaddy.com. I strongly recommend check out the podcast. You'll not regret it. Really a very um, fun, relaxing 
uh, show. I uh, I have uh, been downloading the podcast, and I actually listen in the car when I'm on the road. It uh, it's it's fun. It's engaging. Uh, it breaks down some barriers, and I love the conversations. Rena, keep up the amazing work, and I can't wait to uh, to follow your success here and get down to business. Thank you so much. Absolutely, check out the Better Call Daddy show, BetterCallDaddy.com, and on every single platform on your podcast. Uh, And coming up after the break, I'm going to be chatting with the newly arrived Council for Public Diplomacy at the Consulate of Israel to the Midwest. He is uh, breaking down some barriers himself in uh, in strengthening Israel's relationships throughout states throughout the Midwest. A uh, experienced diplomat, I am thrilled to be joined again by the Council for Public Diplomacy at the Israeli consulate uh, in the Midwest. You're listening to Get Down to Business, the show all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship. Check out my website, shalomkline.com. Follow me on Twitter, at shalomkline. Don't touch that dial. Chicago will be right back and get down to business.